From the John DeVita Broadcast Center, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another broadcast of Paranormal Radio with Bob Trisek on the Windy City Hometown Entertainment Network and Jack FM 89.7 WRHS FM Norwich. So sit back and enjoy Paranormal Radio. And now, here he is, live, in person, and breathing on his own, Mr. Bob Trisek. <laughs> Thank you, John. I'm breathing on my own. Huh? I, 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 I've been demoted now. I'm not the, I was always, for a few months there, I was king of paranormal. Now, this introduction, I'm not the king of paranormal. Now I'm just breathing on my own. Um, first, before I do anything, I need to apologize to everybody for last month. We were just talking about that before we came on the air, and especially to our station, uh, Jack FM at uh, 89.7 over there, WRHS in Norwich. Um, last month, I completely forgot to do the show. Uh, you know, I, uh, the way I normally work, Paranormals, we, we tape the shows on Monday nights, on Monday evenings, we do them at 7 o'clock, and I kind of, I don't have like a set date that I do them. I don't always say, well, Paranormal Radio is coming, we do it on the third Monday of the month, or the second Monday of the month, or anything later. I kind of go around the guest's schedule, you know, people that we manage to book that would like to come on the show, we kind of go around their schedules, and whatever, whatever Monday night they can come on, that's when I'll try to schedule the show, and of course that has to schedule with Mr. John DeVita's uh, scheduling too, see if he's free for that evening too. So last month, for whatever reason, by the time I realized that the month was already closed, I says, my gosh, I forgot to schedule anybody for the show for this month. So we did not do a July show. So I'm very sorry about that. But I made sure that we got um, the uh, August show, and we got a good guest. We got one of our repeat uh, guests here, Mr. Tony Savelsky. So we'll be talking with him and about what's going on with him and the new stuff he's got going on since last he was on here. Um, a little bit of disappointing news for fans of the paranormal. Um, this year... Uh, they've been doing this for a few years now. I've been doing it with them for the last couple of years, last two years. Um, but the Paranormal Conference that they normally hold out at the Marine Valley Community College, every year they hold it. And this year it had been scheduled to do for the 15th and 16th, and they were going to do some different things with it. It was going to be like a Richard Crow tribute, and they were going to do a movie, like an amateur movie contest type thing in that. Uh, and they canceled the Paranormal Conference this year. Um, they had some, I guess, some of the big vendors that would come, uh, kind of backed out of it at, at the last minute for whatever other commitments or whatever the reasons were. So they decided just not to run the conference this year. So hopefully that will get corrected and they'll get it going again for the next year. Uh, but for this year, no paranormal conference on the 15th and the 16th of October. However, I am going to have a busy schedule for uh, the month of October and, and a little bit after there. I got a bunch of stuff going on. Uh, just a couple that I want to mention because I'm branching out into a new one of the new park districts here. Uh, since moving out to LSIP, I've gotten in touch with the LSIP uh, Park District over. It's called the Apollo Recreation Center, and they've actually booked me for a few tours here. One not paranormal, uh, the other one are all kind of related to our paranormal here. Um, one of them I'm going to be doing is some of the presentations I've done at the library, and actually even here on the radio sometimes they've done these presentations. It will be the Egyptian Book of the Dead and the Palm Readings. So I'll be reading people's palms and explaining about palm reading, and that's going to be Wednesday, November 9th. That will be with the Apollo Park District in LSIP. Uh, family game show night, we're doing that one. That seems to be catching on really good. There, nothing to do with paranormal at all. Just something I kind of got the idea to start doing, and it's catching on really well, and um, people seem to be enjoying this. And every time I'm doing it, we improve it and we get, make it a little better. Uh, and what I do is I go back to the old game shows. I go back to Groucho's old show, You Bet Your Life, and Let's Make a Deal. And people are really enjoying those, and we'll be doing that over at the uh, Apollo Park District. That will be October 7th. So some of the prizes and things I'll be doing with that will be a little bit Halloween-themed since it is in the month of October. But basically, that has nothing to do with the paranormal. Just a fun family night. And they serve pizza with that and everything. And I think the cost for it is like $10 or something for that and $10 for the other one per person. Uh, the Chinatown History and Mystery Tour. I've not done that one in a while. And I'm kind of looking forward to doing that, running that tour again because it's a fun tour to do. Uh, we actually have a Chinese dinner. We sit down with that and then we go to Chinatown. We point out all the haunts and things in Chinatown and shop around there a little bit and spend the afternoon in Chinatown. And that will be on September 11th. We'll be running that one. Uh, the Southside Supernatural Tours, what can I say about that? Yeah, that's the old tried and true form, you know, all the haunts and, and, and places, uh, places in the South Side. And we'll be actually doing two of those. We'll be doing a morning tour, 10, 10 in the morning, and that will probably run till like 2 in the afternoon. And then the other one will start at 3, and that will run till 7. So we'll be doing that. And then with the Summit Park District, back at Summit, we c created a new tour this year. Uh, they wanted to do some downtown locations. So we're going to do the Red Lion Pub for lunch. And, of course, everybody knows Red Lion Pub is a really haunted spot, and that's kind of a good psychic spot to take people to. Uh, the Biograph Theater, which is actually right across the street from it, and uh, Lincoln Park, and then hopefully the Congress Hotel, too. We're working on that one, and uh, that will be on October 22nd. So you can give Summit a call at 496-708-496-1012. 
and book that with Summit and any of these other things that I got going with the Apollo Park District, uh, give them a call at 708-453. Nope, not 708-453. That's our number here at the studio. 708-389-1003. 708-389-1003. And as long as I got that number, I can give that out too. Uh, if you, uh, well, no, not really, because this will be taped. I forgot, we're not doing this live now, so nobody can call in. I was going to give our studio number, 453-5114, but if you call in when you're hearing this broadcast, you'll get nobody, because you'll be hearing the broadcast when it's taped. So that's what you'll get with that. Okay, I'm just going to get to our guest, Mr. Tony Sabelski. Tony's been here before. I like to, I got kind of like a little joke going with Tony. I like to call Tony the Tim Conway of uh, Paranormal Radio. How, uh, if you remember, old enough to remember the old Carol Burnett show, how Tim Conway was just kind of always a guest on the show, always a guest on the show, always a guest on the show, and then finally, I think the last season the show ran, Carol Burnett said, why don't we just make him like a regular member of the show? <laughs> so they finally did that. And that's how Tony is kind of here. He kind of can come in anytime he feels like coming in, and um, he's always got some neat tales to tell, and um, just going to start talking with Tony. Tony, thank you so much for coming. Welcome back to Paranormal Radio. Oh, thanks, Bob. It's good to see you again. Yeah, it's always well, nice to see you. Yeah, you came solo today. Usually, when you come, yes, you bring uh, you bring like an entourage of people with you. Yeah, there's yeah. no entourage today. No, no just, entourage. Just me. And you got your Ghost Hunters Haunted Hometowns tour yeah. T-shirt, your official tour Co- T-shirt. Of course, nobody could see it on the radio. But nobody uh, can see this, this on the, the radio. This is the shirt that I wear for tour. So if you do come out on a tour, you will see me wearing this shirt. Yeah, he's got like a black polo, and he's got a mm-hmm. little full moon with a ghost and a ghostly looking tree, and then the lettering in red. Ghost ho- Ghost Host of Haunted Hometowns. Right. Yeah. So now how's that going for you? Very well, I, I'm guessing. Well, yeah. um, it's going good. Mm-hmm. Uh, one thing, we are very short this year, and that's why I don't have an entourage, because I usually bring the other tour guides along. We have uh, no other tour guides this year. Oh, what happened? Diane, the owner of the company, and myself are the only guides What happened currently. to everybody else? They've all just... Uh, well, there was a guy who was doing tours with us last year who broke off, and he started his own tour company. Okay. And he's doing tours in... Uh, a cemetery out in Joliet. Okay. Now right. he, and he's 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 doing some out in Elgin where we we also do tours, ah, but he's primarily okay. out in Joliet. So kind of nice. Took, huh? The guy he took a couple of his friends with him. And, yeah. And uh, that's it. She hasn't been able to find anybody yet. Hmm. hmm. That's kind of tough. I would think there'd be like a surplus of people wanting to do this. You would think yeah. so. Uh-huh. You yeah. would think yeah. so. I had a guy this past weekend. He's I think he's may, maybe has been on the show before. Uh, Julius. Sure, Oh, yes. Team, Julius is great. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. With uh, um, the Spiritualist Church right, out there in Cicero. Oh, yeah. yeah mm-hmm. I was, uh, he's showing some interest in it, so I brought him Good. on a couple tours uh-huh. to show him what it's all about. And I think he's going to. You know, probably going to try to be a tour guide. He would like that. I and mean, he's real good with the equipment and stuff, he too. He is. He's yeah, very he's very good, good with handling yeah. equipment, doing the photography and all mm. that kind of stuff like that. Because yeah. he always sets stuff up down here when he comes and that, here in the studio here, and then also, too, at the church. Right. If you go there for any of their events and that, he always does your, their equipment over there. Mm-hmm. So he'd be kind of good with the tech end of it. And yeah, that. he's real good with the Echo Vox. I don't know if you're yes. familiar with yeah, that. Yeah, with the Echo Vox, yeah. Mm-hmm. He, um, oh, geez, I forget the two gentlemen's name. Andy? I forget, Andy Andy, I forget and Andy's and last name and Black, um, Blackbeard. The, yeah. the gentleman, uh, I don't know. Dan, Danny. But I, Danny. He goes by Blackbeard. Right, I know that, yeah. but I, I forget what his name is. But they're both n- nice guys. Yes. And they they, been, they were on it. I've known Andy for and, quite a while. Yeah, Andy's, mm. I know Andy longer than I know Blackbeard, Me the too. other gentleman. Yeah, right. but now they kind of partnered together, and mm-hmm. Julia's kind of partnered with them. And right. So he's just all over the place. You know how this thing works. You know? Right. That's, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Everything kind of snowballs. We, we, uh, we all true. bounce that's off each other. That's very true. We do all bounce off each other. Yeah, That's how I became the Tim Conway of this show. That's exactly how it worked. Yep. Mm-hmm. So, let me see your card here. Okay. What you got going on? Mm-hmm. You got cards printed up and everything. You're going big time here. Yeah, I've got cards. That that one doesn't have my name on it, but I actually okay. have the cards with my name on it, too. Historic Ghosters, mm-hmm. Cemetery Ghosters. So, you're doing two. I'm okay. bouncing back and forth between Naperville and Elgin okay. right now. Every right. other weekend. This past weekend, I was in Naperville. And this coming weekend, I'll be in Elgin Thursday night, Saturday night, and Sunday night, and Naperville on Friday night. So, you're running two companies yourself? So uh, you're, you're at Haunted Hometowns? No, it's the same Oh, company. it's the same outfit. Same oh, outfit. okay. Yeah. So you do the Haunted Hometowns mm-hmm. tours. That's the Naperville, Aurora, and Elgin. Right. You do Haunted Ghost tours, which I'm not sure how that one would be. Would do it's the same this. company. And then the other one would be the Cemetery Ghost tours, and that's strictly cemeteries. Well, we have... Um, cemetery Ghost Hunts. Within the company itself, yeah. we have four different tours that we offer. We okay. have the Aurora Walking Tour, Downtown okay. Aurora Walking Tour, the uh, Naperville Historic District Walking Tour, Okay. We have a four-hour, four-stop van or bus tour in Elgin, plus we have a three-hour ghost hunt hmm. just in one cemetery in Elgin. 
bus. So three hours. Cemetery. So you do a four hour stop, four stop hour and go four on the bus. Stop. Right. Wow. So it's four hours, four stops. Right. So you give them plenty of time. They're like oh, an yeah. hour at each stop. Uh, yeah, basically oh, wow. an hour that's, at each stop. That's it's good. A little bathroom break that we take in between. Sure. But yeah, you have to. Yeah, I, mm-hmm. you'd have to give them a bathroom break after a four hour bouncing around on the bus there. Yeah. Right. Cool. So. And right now we're doing that all with just the two. Two tour guides. So it's pretty tough. You're a little, it is you're a little tough. overworked. We're a little overworked. <laughs> We're a little tight. <laughs> yeah, you need some extra help here. We do. And yeah. With the Halloween season coming. Absolutely. Yeah, you're going to need him before then. Mm-hmm. Well, you still got a little time with that. Right. Uh, if you hook up with Julius there, I think you'll be okay. Cause yeah, Julius I think is, he's going to do a good He's good job. about that. And then he might be able to get you some more people, too. Hopefully. Yeah. That I would be willing to do this, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, so you've got one, two, three different tours running right now. Now, you have a website. Right. Because I've been on your website in that. Mm-hmm. Uh, if they want to book any of this stuff, because now we're coming up into, well, the end of August. Right. We start thinking of Halloween, September, and then we're right into the holiday, the season. So if they want to book any of these things for you, one three three one two one three nine one five three. 213 9153 That's right. So one three three one two one three nine one five three. If you're interested in any of Tony's tours right. and everything, if they call, will they get to speak to a person, or will they just get the recorded hey, there message? There is a booking company. Okay. It's called Peak that oh, they will okay. talk to. So if they have questions or anything, they can ask them, and they're right. informed, and they can give mm-hmm. them the answers and stuff right. like that. Okay, good. Because there's say, also they get the website there, which is www.hauntedhometowns.com. Yeah, that's why I looked at your website. Right. Yeah, I saw that, and all your stuff is on there. And you and can yeah. book right online. Then. Oh, you can do it online, too. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yes, right. everything's online now, of course, yeah. So, now you're doing all these tours. Mm-hmm. You haven't had time for any investigations, have no, you? No, not really. You're just too no, busy I, with this. I, I, the last investigation I did was actually with Dave Olson, who was your last Oh, yes. Uh, uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. Your name came up. Ago. That's what made me think of you for this time, because your name came up on that show. Your ears were probably ringing right. about that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he was doing um, an investigation of the... Um, I can't think of the name of the town off the top of my head. Uh, the public library in... Um, I can't think of the name of the I, town. He told me to, <laughs> yeah. and I got I got the tape of Elmwood the show. Park. And, Elmwood Park. Elmwood Park. Elmwood yeah. Park. Yeah. And, he brought uh, some neat photos uh, with him too when he was on he? here. He had the, he had his little laptop, and he brought some oh, neat okay. some neat stuff that they had taken. That and also I think two of the girls. Oh, for the life of me, I should remember. Liz their names. and Michelle. They're were there, also with yes. you too. Right. Yeah, so they were. They were yeah, uh, mm-hmm. Michelle wasn't there at the Elmwood Park uh-huh. Library, but she's been on a number of Dave's investigations. So they're kind of mm-hmm. bouncing back before and right. the between. Which I'm glad. I'm kind of glad to hear this because for a long time there was this big thing with the groups where this one didn't get along with that one, that one didn't get along yeah. with this one. It's kind of nice now that they can It's getting do this better. There's still yeah. a little bit of that, but it's getting yeah. better. Yeah, so it's nice that people are starting to get along now, and they're kind of going from group to mm-hmm. group here without any kind of troubles going on and stuff like that. So that's good to hear. Yeah. So that's the last investigation I was actually on. That was probably back in June or early July. Well, you're too busy making money now, so... Yes, you, I am. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's about time, you know? Right, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. The store stuff is a lot of work. People don't, you it know, is. it is. It's a lot of work. A lot goes into these things. Mm-hmm. Um, planning it out, doing it, doing the run throughs on them and everything. You know how this all works and that. But right. then once you've got it down and you got your story and everything down pat and that, then you're, you you sail with it. And mm-hmm. then, then it's pretty good. Uh, the trick is, though, which I'm, you're a, a good tour guide too, is the trick is to try to make it new and fresh every time you <laughs> every do it. Every time you do it. So it's yeah. not the same old right. thing and you're not just sitting there with a microphone and right. saying, well, this behind this gravestone here, this mm-hmm. happens here. And, it, and, and, and the next thing you know, you're putting people to sleep. See, I, so I always neat. put it in my mind that, you know, maybe I've done this tour a million times, but yeah. all these people coming on it, for some of them, this is their first and maybe their only tour that they yep. ever take. So I do that, I do that with my experience. tours, I do that with presentations, I do mm-hmm. that with all my stuff. I kind of right. switch it because sometimes I do the same one in, during the month of October. I may do the same thing at three different places, the same mm-hmm. presentation, and I'll switch it around and change things around a little bit so that way it's, it's a little more interesting for me and it's also interesting for them too because sometimes you get some of the same people right. that show up at these things. You so, do. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's kind of neat, yeah. Okay, so Haunted Hometowns. Now, this is all, this, that's the Naperville, the Aurora, and mm-hmm. the Elgin. Right. And then the cemeteries. Now, the cemeteries are where? That's, that's the Naperville, cemetery, Aurora, the and only, Elgin also? No, the only cemeteries we're allowed to go in at this point, uh, Diane, the owner of the tour company, mm-hmm. is looking at getting into some of the cemeteries in Aurora. Uh, the only ones we're allowed to right now are out in Elgin. Okay. Bluff City Cemetery, and then the, uh, what's called the Popper Cemetery, which is where they buried all the unclaimed bodies from the Elgin Mental State Hospital. Okay, yeah. Mm-hmm. Plus, we also go on the grounds of the Channing Memorial Elementary School. Okay. The school was built on what was the original Elgin City Cemetery. Mm. And there still are some headstones out on the property. Is the building layout. still there? The school building the school is still there? The school is there? still there, okay. and it's still uh, a So you're able to go in there? School. No, we can't go inside the school, but we got access to the grounds all ah, around okay. it. Now, somebody was telling me... I don't know if this was you or Dave. Maybe it was Dave Olson last time when he was on. That somebody actually bought one of these places and they actually mm-hmm. rented out. 
Oh yeah, to um, to the haunted, you know, for tours and for the investigations mm-hmm. and obviously rent it out for that. So it's just an old dilapidated institution, whatever it was, and they're renting it out. So I says that's kind of good because in a way they're preserving it. Um, I, I don't know how the insurance would work on something like this if it's an old building and if it, you know it's up to codes and this kind of stuff and all that. I, I don't know how that all works. Did he but, mention which building it was? You know, he said it, but for life of me, I don't know which one mm-hmm. it which one it is. But they do, you know, rent it out like for these investigations and stuff mm-hmm. like that. But I don't know how that works, how they do that because you know. You're bringing... I know Diane just to get access into the cemetery. She's got a uh, like one point three million dollar insurance policy. Oh sure. Yeah, you have you know, to. Somebody you gotta trip over a headstone. Absolutely, you got to protect yourself. You know, Absolutely, yeah, anything could happen, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you got to protect yourself, yeah, every way you can, and protect the people too. You right, know? exactly. Yeah. yeah, go on other days where they just sign a waiver and do it at your own risk. Uh, mm-hmm. You can't do that anymore. Yeah, right. That's uh, when yeah, I yeah. first started doing this. Mm-hmm. That's all we would do: sign sure. the waiver at the door. Yeah. And, mm-hmm. yeah, it's just not that simple anymore. No, we're you know we're eventually we're going to see you know you see all these lawyers advertised on uh, TV and that. You're going to find out. You're going to say, we specialize in cemeteries. If you've been injured at a cemetery, you know, if right. you've tripped over a stone, if you've tripped on mm-hmm. a curb, you know, give us a call. Right. You know, Blake and Blake, you know, attorneys at law, <laughs> we we handle cemetery cases. Right. Because they all specialize, you know, in these oh, things, something. you know, with the malpractice yeah. ones, mm-hmm. with this, you know, some kind of medical procedure and something, this or that or the other, whatever it is, you know. Right, exactly. So eventually if these tours get that big, they'll be one of these lawyers advertising mm-hmm. on TV about this too. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody would probably sue saying we didn't see any ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> we are guaranteed ghosts, right? Yeah, right. We we're guaranteed to see a ghost on this train. Right. We didn't. Yeah, we didn't see one. Yeah. You always got to kind of make that clear to people. You, you know, do. Some things may turn up on us, things don't. Right. You know, it happens. Well, oh, I always you know. tell people when yeah, I'm doing yeah, that we bring out some paranormal equipment in the cemeteries. I always tell them, you know, be always something could happen. Maybe it won't. We've had things no happen guarantees. on them, you know, but there's not. it's not guaranteed it's going to. So, right. you know, we don't want to mislead anyone. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Always the way to do it. Now that we're on that subject, have you had anything happen on your tours? I know you've mentioned a few things that um, in the past that you've had. Well, yes, yeah, some interesting things, especially last weekend when I was out there with Julius. Um, several people thought they saw a shadow. This moving was the cemetery. Through, this yeah, the this cemetery? is out in the cemetery, okay. Bluff City Cemetery in okay. Elgin, which mm-hmm. is a, it's a huge cemetery. They filmed um, part of Nightmare on Elm Street Part Five in this cemetery. Oh. It's very old, Gothic. Uh-huh. Eighteen eighty nine is when mm-hmm. it opened. Um, we were in a section. There's a butterfly garden toward okay. the back part of the cemetery. It's like a butterfly sanctuary. Oh, that sounds nice. Yeah, it's yeah. it's very interesting cemetery. Mm-hmm. You should come out there sometime yeah. and mm-hmm. uh, look around. Um, and we all thought we saw the shadow moving up on the ridge, which is just above where we were. Okay. And then later, we are by, there's an angel statue, also this very beautiful angel, mm-hmm. sta- angel statue that at one point was sent to uh, Italy and blessed by the Pope. Oh. Back in the 19th century, before it... So they made the statue here, sent it to Italy, and then right. brought it back. Wow. Mm-hmm. It might and have been cheaper just bring the Pope here. It probably would have been. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, shipping... Well, of course, in those days, I don't know what they would have charged to ship that stone, statue. yeah, marble, probably whatever it was. Yeah, of course, yeah. it would have had to. Mm-hmm. Yeah, nobody was flying then, yeah. No. Mm-hmm. Uh, and again, we saw what looked like a shadow coming up mm. the hill behind that statue. Hmm, interesting. And okay. another interesting thing that happened, uh, we had he had that Echo Vox. Okay. And now that is an app. Oh, yes. Uh-huh. It's an app that he was using on a tablet. Mm-hmm. And you have to physically go in there, and you have to slide some things over. I'm not real big with technology and uh, all that. How same thing works. with me, yep. Mm-hmm. You have to slide. I don't know what they call any of this. You slide yeah. the mm-hmm. thing over, and then there's some volume controls and other control buttons that you have to push. You push down on them, and you push them up. He had it set up against a headstone, and he has this Bluetooth speaker that he keeps a little bit further away. Now, Julius was doing this? Okay, okay, okay. And none of us were near it. We were all far back away from it. We had a very small group of people that night. I think there was only about five of us. And um, we all witnessed that thing slide itself over and start moving the dials up, Hmm. all the volume control dials up. So did anything come out on it? Any voices? Any sounds? Oh, yeah. Anything? He, he okay. Got quite a, he got quite a bit. There was one time when um, he had asked if it was okay to sit on the steps of the mausoleum, and they told him, you can sit. Hmm. Okay. And they called his name a few times. They called my name quite a bit. Hmm. Uh, a lot of times when we asked how many are here, we would get like an answer of you know, six or ten. So or, they know. They're watching. Right. Oh, wow, okay. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. And a couple times also, and, it, and that's common in, in Bluff City Cemetery. I've seen a lot of electronics manipulated. Mm-hmm. Uh, a couple times they shut that thing down. They just shut it off. 
They don't want to talk. And he couldn't figure it out. He couldn't figure out why it went off, and he couldn't get it to go back on. They just don't want to talk. And then when it, we moved away from that certain section, it would power back up, and it would be fine. It wouldn't hmm. be showing that it was low battery or anything. Really? Interesting stuff, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. But it does happen. Yeah. It happens. So, And this was actually on a tour this when all this tour. was going on. Yes. So people could see this, yeah. Right. Now, were people just, like, amazed by this? Oh, or did you have some people that say, oh, I'm not real certain about this, you, you know? Get, you get all yeah. kinds oh, sure. on tours. Yeah. I'm sure yeah. you know um, from oh, yeah. giving um, tours yourself. Yeah. You get the skeptics. You sure. get the, um, yeah. the one that you might have one or two people in the group who are very interested, and they drag the others along because yeah. they want to have a night out just with their friends. Just coming out of curiosity, say, right, yeah, they're looking for a, you know, just something different to right, do. Right, something yeah, yeah. different And to then you do. get the serious people. You know, right, you know. and, and they'll always be, oh, well, you, you did that. Sure. Because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. we do this thing with the flashlights, too. We set up the flashlights. I don't know if you've ever seen it. They do it on the paranormal TV shows. Uh-huh. And I've always gotten people tell me I got something in, inside my pockets that I'm turning the flashlight on mm. and off with. Or, or I'll yeah. use the ghost box, and I've been told before that, oh, you have some person on the other end of that thing who's answering the questions. Oh, jeez. Like, you feel kind of bad about that, don't you? Do. you? Because you're, you're being, you know, you're trying to be legitimate right. about this, and you're doing, you know, mm-hmm. the right thing. And then when someone does that to you, you feel kind of like, "Geez, I don't want to feel like, you know, we're not really cheating. We're not cheating people here with this." Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it's kind of, but you know, you're always going to have those skeptics. Yeah, you, you know? always yeah. get those mm-hmm. kind of people. We pull out dowsing yeah. rods again, and then the people say, you know, you're you're, you're manipulating yeah. them. And the thing I have trouble with are the voice boxes. Now, mm-hmm. now when I had Andy, Andy's been on the show here a couple of uh-huh. times. I forget Andy's last name. Oh yeah, I can't. And think Danny, of it off the Bla- top Danny Blackbeard. I think he goes by Dan. Is it Danny Blackbeard? Danny, I I believe it's Blackbeard. Danny was on I, too, and they're Robert? very much. Yeah, yeah, I think so. But he, go, he goes by Blackbeard. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, they're really the two gentlemen are really really into this, and they mm-hmm. build these things and everything. Yeah, they and they're do. really good at it and everything like that. And they listen to this, and right away they pick this stuff up. Mm-hmm. And I'm listening to it, and I'm like, I'm not hearing nothing. You know, I don't know what they're listening to, but I'm not hearing it. And it's it's all with this trained deer thing. That you it have took this. me a while. Yeah. See, I don't. Um, you know, maybe now I don't, that maybe I'm don't using do it, it yeah. every weekend. In the beginning, I was just like you. I couldn't hear, and I'd be like, yeah. And people would be like, oh, it just said that. It just said this, and I'd be like, mm, I don't hear. I don't anything. know. I'm not hearing nothing. Yeah. And mm-hmm. and after using it almost every weekend on these tours, now I'm starting You're getting to better hear at it. it. Mm. So, so it does the, take so, time. So it is the trained deer thing. It, it is because yeah. that's what they all keep telling me. They say, "Well, you have to have a trained deer for right. the shepherds." I guess I got to train my ears. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Got to start doing it more often. Yeah. Because yeah, they're very I've been over to Andy's They're very house good at yeah. They're very times. good at what they do. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I've seen down in the basement where he makes all the boxes. I can and just stuff. imagine. Mm-hmm. It's got to be like Frankenstein's workshop it or something down there. Is. Yeah, he's yeah. probably got everything from soup to nuts down there. Yeah. And now Andy's a real tech guy. He He's really into the tech. Yeah. Yeah. Now, I don't know if he does this. I know he does these and he sells them, and he does mm-hmm. pretty good with this because they're, you know, they're, they're. It's a good quality thing that he makes. He yeah. really does, and he's very serious about it. Both of the gentlemen are. Um, I don't know if he still works though and just does this on the side. I'm not sure. The certain. last time I or if he's just doing him, this full he was time. Just doing it full time. That so was he's, full time. So he's doing that well with it. Yeah. So so you know, a market for these things. So yeah. That was the night we, you were there. You were at the uh, the spiritual church in, at the um, church in yeah. um, mm-hmm. Cicero. Yeah, they mm-hmm. both got up and talked. Right. And that, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Once a once a year, they like to pop on the radio show here. Oh, okay. I'm yeah, like, that's fine good. with me. You know, yeah. they all come in, the, and that's their class because I guess they hold the classes there. Oh yeah, at the church I, there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so when they all come on here, we get like I get like nine or ten of them, and that's their class. Right. They're coming on the radio is actually that's their mm-hmm. their classroom. So I says, well, we should be charging you for coming on. You know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I always fool around with them. They're a nice bunch. Though. Well, this kind of segues into I could give a little. Um, uh, Shout out to the uh, Snap It Paranormal team. Absolutely. Go right ahead. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, It's a team. They gave me my start in the paranormal Mm -hmm. as a paranormal investigator. I met Laura Hannigan um, many years back. I know she's been on this Mm -hmm. show before. Mm -hmm. And uh, I just want to shout out to the team, to Laura, uh, Cindy, James, Heather, Kim, Julius, uh, Mahala, and Donna. Now, that's all with Snap It. And then you were with another one, too, weren't you? I was. White Dog, was it? White Dog is kind of on hiatus right now. Mm -hmm. Mm Mm-hmm. And with Snap It, uh, I also want to mention if anybody needs a paranormal investigation, anybody's haunted, you know, we we do it for free. We have a, a website, www.snapitghost.com. There you go. And we'd be more than happy to, you know, snapitghost.com. So if you think you're having some trouble with your house or you mm-hmm. know of a place that you feel you got some activity going on there and you'd like to have them come out and investigate it, get a hold of Snap It. Right. Go up to the Snap It website, which is www.snapit.ghost.com www.snapit.ghost.com. Is there mm-hmm. a phone number too or no? Um, there probably is one on the website. I'm okay. not sure who's, wh- wh- you know, who 
wants to be called right now. It'd be either probably Cindy or Laura. Okay, who you'd so, call. so you'll go out there then and you'll investigate and you'll right. see what's going on if, mm-hmm. if indeed there is anything going on. Yes. Now, have you ever done one of these things where someone has called you and said, "We've got something going on in our mm-hmm. house and we can't explain it," yeah. and then you go out there and you say. I hate to disappoint you, but there's nothing going yeah. on here. Mm-hmm. It happens. It's happened. Yeah, it yeah, does. It happens. Do you think there might be something there, and you're just not picking it up you at that it's time? It's very or possible. You, you, you it just could don't just know. be yeah. a down night. Yeah. You know, maybe the ghost is taking a break. Or just very inactive that yeah. night or whatever, mm-hmm. like a case of a dormancy or something, where right. they're just not around, you know, and then all of a sudden it'll start up again. Yeah. Or sometimes mm-hmm. do you think maybe it's just the people saying, we want to do this out of curiosity. It could and be. Just, and just see what they're sa- what they're doing. It know? could be. Yeah. Yeah. You don't know. You just don't know how to take it. Um I would think, though, that if people are, mm, I think if people are going to make the effort to mm-hmm. call and that, I think I think they'd be pretty serious about you it. You would think so. I don't so. think you're just going to get curiosity seekers. I no, don't, I don't you're, think that you're letting people you don't know come into your yeah, house. Yeah, so that's, that's what mm-hmm. I think. They'd be kind of serious about it. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Of course, it's hard to know. You know, there's a lot of people out there that do these things just for thrills or whatever, and they may be doing this to say, hey, you know, come on, we got this team in, you want to come and mm-hmm. see this stuff and whatever, and they may be just doing it as a little party thing themselves, too. You don't know. Right. You don't know how it's going to go. Can you kind of tell, though, like if you go in someone's house, like if they're on the level with this or if they're just kind of, eh. You can. They're just doing this more for a fun mm-hmm. thing, you know. Yeah, yeah you can. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Some of them maybe are doing it just for attention, too. Yeah, exactly. I'm like, you know, you don't want to be judgmental about it. Mm-hmm. But like I said, I'm sure there are people out there that do this, you know, so that's right. the way it works, yeah. Unfortunately. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So what else is going on? Now you're with this, and the white dog is kind of on hiatus. It's kind of so busy with everything else right now. So the white dog is in the kennel. Well, uh, the lady who runs it, Michelle, who was on the show uh-huh. a couple of months ago, she's had some personal things going on. Okay. So she's kind of taking a little break sure, right yeah, now. Sure, yeah, I can, I can understand that. Yeah, we mm-hmm. all got other things in, in our life besides this stuff. Right. Yeah. And um, but Snap is very active. They're, it is. they're still going strong. Yes, yeah. they are. Now yeah. Snap it is also associated with the spiritualist church. Right, Mahela is yeah. the psychic for Snap it. Oh, so she's the official psychic for, psychic for, for Snap, Snap it group. Okay. Yep. So and then also too, the church is like their base. That's right. Like their mm-hmm. their little gathering spot. We do the seances spot. there. Yeah. We have our meetings there. We should probably put the word in for that one too. Now, did they do the seances over they, the summer months? They have or did they one coming up? up this Saturday. Oh, it's this Saturday yes. coming up. Ah, mm-hmm. okay. This Saturday, what have I got? No, this Saturday's out for me. See, that's okay, the trouble. Yeah, I, can I never, can't make it either. They, they do these like once a, a month, don't they? They do. Once a month. And you can always go up on their website and, right. and find out when they're doing them. Mm. It's on, um, I, I, yeah, you could, there's a link to it from the Snappit website, but I think if you go on the Spiral, Spiritualist Church website, they have it there. It's the, I forget what the name of their church is exactly, because I'm sure there's it's other Spiritualist the Churches spirit, out there. Oh, God. It has, it's just like the Spiritual Church of... Mm, something, something. I don't. Yeah, I know it's in yeah. Cicero. It's in Cicero. Mahela oh, Bacon. Ma- yeah, ma- punch reverend. up Mahela, ba- Doctor Mahela yeah, Bacon. Punch, up, punch up her name, and it'll yeah, it'll come up. It'll yeah. come up. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'm sure it will. Yeah, I feel bad not you know <laughs> not right, knowing me it. Too. You yeah, think yeah, I yeah. would. <laughs> I've been there so many times. Yeah, not knowing it, but it's really interesting. It, it really is. is. And there again, too, if you're if you're kind of serious about this, or mm-hmm. even if you have like a curiosity about this, and you've never been to one of these things, so you can actually see how spiritualist churches run and how this works with mediums and and actually attend a a real seance. Mm -hmm. You know, not an artificial seance, not something just done for fun, like a parlor game type thing. But a legitimate seance and that and they're they're pretty good about that there. And they're very they're very inviting people and they're Mm -hmm. very friendly and very nice. So they do charge for that though. They do charge for the for the seances and for that. But uh, it's well worth it's it. Not, I went it's to. It's not that much. No, it's not. I think it's like ten dollars. Yeah, $15 I think like ten or fifteen dollars. Yeah, is about not it. much. No, it's not. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, and they've got a nice parking lot there now too. They actually they fenced do. in their parking lot. Yeah. Because they, I guess they didn't want to have any trouble with cars or anything mm-hmm. like that. So they got it like fenced in. So when you go in there, you know, you don't have any trouble with your car parking or anything like that. So, so you're okay because it is in Cicero. And a lot of people say, "Oh, Cicero, it's a bad neighborhood." Well, it's not all over that way. No, you know? not all over. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You could say Chicago is a bad neighborhood. True. But it's not the whole city. You no. Know, certain spots are. Although we have more murders than most other cities. But True. <laughs> <laughs> but then if we have more things going on, we have more haunts, too. True. That, that, so that, I that guess, does spur more so I guess So I guess we are a more haunted city. Yeah. That's exactly true. I don't know. Have you ever done the research on this? Like, what is the most the most haunted? I know there's a few that lay claim to uh-huh. it. But what is the most haunted city in the United States? Now, I've never done the actual research mm-hmm. on it. Like you say, there's a lot of cities yeah. that lay yeah. claim to it. Mm-hmm. Um, if I were to take my guess, I think Chicago ranks up there pretty high. Mm-hmm. But I would... Probably put New Orleans as number yeah, one. Yeah, that's that's mine. Yeah. I would say New Orleans. Yeah, yeah. they really got a lot of weird stuff down they there. They do, and of course, them being the voodoo capital right. of the United States too. I was at a neat store um, Friday. Mm-hmm. Friday, I took a trip down to Greek Town, I was, okay. and I've been down there for ages. Oh yeah, me either. And we went to the one restaurant, Nate, and right on the corner mm-hmm. was a really neat shop, and it, it was they sold candles and all this. And I said, oh, they sell candles. It's got to be something. Sure enough, I walked in. It was like a little voodoo shop. They had
dust and magic powders and the spells and the mm-hmm. books and the this and the that and the other and everything like that. And I bought a few things and I could have spent, you know, a couple of hours oh, and they're looking at everything and that, you know. And I told him, I says, geez, this is like a little shop right out of New Orleans. I said, it even smells like it. She says, oh, yeah, it's pretty much the same type of stuff, you know, so, yeah. I'll have to check that out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They have a catalog out, too. It's um, the church book or something, I think it's called. And they mm-hmm. sell everything in their catalog. And, oh, and their okay. prices aren't bad either. Yeah, they're not, they're okay. not bad on their prices and that. Mm-hmm. So if you want to. And it was really funny with that, too. Mm-hmm. The day I came back with this, um, I just went to this thing Friday. And then Saturday, a woman approached me, uh, a neighbor, mm-hmm. approached me and said, you know, I'm having some trouble with my residence, with my, with my place. And she says, I'm having some things going on there, and I'm hearing voices, and I'm seeing this and all that. And the other. And I said, well, here, you know what? It's funny that you brought this up. She says, it's weird because she says, I dreamt of you the night before. And I said, it's funny that you dreamt of me the night before because I just bought this stuff. You take it, and you sprinkle this by your door, front and back, put it in the corners of your rooms, Mm-hmm. And then you, but you can't put it on carpet. So if you've got carpet in the room, you can't put it on the carpet. Put it in the rooms that don't have carpet, like your kitchen, if there's a linoleum floor or tile floor or whatever, or bathroom with a tile floor. And then you leave it in the, in the corners. You recite the 20, uh, not the 23rd Psalm, the 64th Psalm. Mm-hmm. After you're finished with that, you let it sit 15 minutes and then you sweep it up. You don't vacuum it. You sweep it up. Then you take it and you throw it right outside. And when you throw this out, supposedly you've gotten rid of whatever's in there. And... After she did this, I gave her some of it. I didn't give her the whole thing because I only mm-hmm. bought one little pouch of it, even though it was very inexpensive. It was only a couple of dollars. And uh, the next day I asked her, I says, did it work? You know, she, she came up to me again, and, she's, and, she's, and I said, did it work? She says, yes, it did, but I think I'm going to need something stronger. She says, I feel like something's gone, like there's some there. I feel a little more ease about that, but I feel like there's something else there. I says, ah, maybe this is a job for snap it or for one be. of the teams yes, there might be. be something a little stronger there that needs to be yeah. dismissed now do you if you you have her contact information oh yeah yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. tell mm-hmm. her to look into contacting somebody at snap it and maybe yeah. we could come out now do you only just investigate to see that's my, my, my question that's always mm-hmm. leading up to what all this story was do you investigate just to see if something is indeed there or if you do find something there, are you able to cleanse it and get it, get well, it out Mahela of Well, Mahala can do She does that. Okay. I didn't, no, I didn't, know, I didn't know Mahala, you went out on these investigations. In this she doesn't stuff. normally. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But if we do need a psychic. She'll, she'll some, pop in. You know, yeah. someone to do something a little further mm-hmm. than just an investigation. Okay. Yeah, she'll come in. And then I forget the young lady's name that was on with you, too, that does with the sage and with the stuff and all that. And um, I forget her name. Was that recently? I think the last time you were on here, which has been a couple of months. It's been a while since you were yeah. on the last time. Is that Carrie? I'm not certain okay. what her name but I remember she did something with sages yeah. and with cleansings. And all, cause she's the one with the apartment. She's got the trouble yes. with her apartment and all that. Yeah, yeah. yeah that would be her. her. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, because mm-hmm. she does that. Now, would that do the same type of stuff like what Mahala would do? or would You know, um, Mahala is more of a psychic, so she could also communicate with those spirits. Ah. My friend Doug also is very good at doing that. He's another now, person Doug I, I don't contact. Th- yeah, Doug I don't think I met. Doug's never been on the show. No, he, he lives yeah. way out in Yorkville, and it's oh. hard for him to get in on yeah, weeknights. Yeah. Uh, we'll have to get him to call in one time. Yeah, maybe he can call in yeah, sometime. We'll but he's a very interesting guy. He can mm-hmm. keep you on the phone for hours ah, talking okay. and talking about almost every subject, not only paranormal, but and he's very into the paranormal, but good. he could pretty much talk on any subject. He's a teacher by trade. Oh, wonderful. A special ed yeah, teacher. Uh-huh. But he's also uh, a person that can help like cleanse a property or oh, okay. help a spirit cross over. Okay. Mm-hmm. So he, uh, what does he teach? Uh, he's special ed. Oh, he teaches special ed. That's right. Mm-hmm. He did say special ed. Right. I should have remembered that. You just said it two seconds ago. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes. He teaches special ed, and he does. he's into everything else, too. Right. Oh. Mm-hmm. Well, these things kind of all, one goes, well, not necessarily special ed teaching mm-hmm. would go in with this, but history and this and that right and it all, all kind of tie tied in, in together yeah, yeah they all do all tied in together yeah they all one thing kind of leads into mm-hmm. the other yeah mm-hmm. yeah hmm. interesting so now outside of the tours you plan on anything new or you just you're just busy with this i'm you just really, busy with this you can't really do anything yeah. new right now your hands are kind of yeah. tied until you get some Plus extra I'm people working my other job too oh i didn't know you had another job yes, i thought you were doing yeah. this full time I, I don't know are you still at mcdonald's I, just part time. I work over. Yeah. I work at McDonald's on Saturdays. I'm, I'm over there on Saturdays. Uh-huh. I work a few hours over there, and then on Wednesdays I go in and I do their bingo for them on Wednesdays. Oh, okay. I, I call their bingo. They, we do the bingo for like two hours, mm-hmm. and um, we I just go in for that, just okay. for the fun of doing it, you know. But that, they're going to stop doing that now for sep- uh, September. We're going to mm-hmm. end that, and then I got other things to move into. So well, I'll, I also I'll be glad. work at McDonald's. Oh, you do. You went yes, back. I uh, do. You went back to McDonald's. I did go back to McDonald's. You, you, you I quit and then you went back. McDonald's, yeah, a while back. And oh, then, okay. Um, I went. But back. you go into it full time. You're management and all that I'm kind of stuff. Not I, because I'm so busy with the tours. 
I haven't taken the leap to the full-time management ah. position. I'm something just below that. So you get to wear one of the fancy shirts. I do. I do. Well, no, I'm still in the regular shirt. Oh, you got the regular black yeah, shirt I or still, whatever the I one. I do their whatever I, color you know, your I store wears. Their floor from time to time. Ah, okay. And I also help with their ordering and checking in their orders when they come in. I got to be now. I only work the four hours. Mm -hmm. Is where I actually work. The other one, like you say, that's fun. I just do the bingo. Yeah. I actually got to be employee of the month. Really? I, um, that's good. Uh, that's what I said. Congratulations. You know what? I, they I give you a plaque, don't they? Uh, no, I, no I didn't get a plaque. Oh, okay. I, got, I got a little, <laughs> <laughs> I got I got a gift bag. Uh -huh. I got a little gift bag and I got a McDonald's t-shirt. Oh, okay. And I got a Target gift card and a pin, you know, like a you know, congratulations pin and all this stuff and all kind of neat things and right. a card and all this stuff like that. Yeah. And I thought, Gee, I, yeah, but then I thought of it, I said, man, it's going to make other people angry. Mm -hmm. I mean, if I'm only working one day a week and I get to be an employee a month, they're going to say, yeah. geez, how does he do this? You know, right, we're here true. seven days a week, That's you know, true. and so I thought about it. But they says, Bob, you come in and you do things because I do the cleaning. Right. I, I do the lobby, you know, lobby yeah, person. Yes. That's what I do. And I like it because I'm my own mm -hmm. little boss. And um, I go in for the four hours and do that. And they said, well, you come in, you do stuff that nobody else does. Right. You know, I look for things. So mm -hmm. we need to take a break. Enough McDonald's stuff. See, we okay. gave McDonald's a plug, too. Yeah, we did. We will take a break, okay. and we will come back and talk about McDonald's more and haunted hamburgers. I don't know. We'll yeah. find something. Mm -hmm. Stick with us, folks. We'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> You're listening to Paranormal Radio with Bob Trisek from the John DeVita Broadcast Center on Jack FM 89.7 WRHF Norwich and the Windy City Hometown Entertainment Network on Tuesday, August the 23rd, the year 2016. And now back to the King of Paranormal Radio, Mr. Bob Trisek. Ah, now I'm happy. I got to be the king again. <laughs> and you're still breathing. I'm the king, and, and am I still breathing, John? Oh, yes. Okay, so I'm the king, and I'm breathing. That's so that's good. good. So I got two strings to my bow. Yeah. <laughs> I thought I, I thought I lost my kingdom for a minute there. When he, every, every week when he announces me, the king of Paranormal Radio, this week, Bob's still breathing. So I says, oh, oh. He's mad at me or something. He took my, my kingdom away from me. Mm -hmm. But I got my kingdom back. So anyway, where are we at? McDonald's. McDonald's. We, were, we were talking McDonald's. Yes. Yeah, yeah. They're kind of neat to work for, though. It you is. Know, it is. Yeah, yeah it's, you know, it's a job. It's nice. You it know, is, I, I like definitely. it. And, uh, and, of course, me, I can't really stand all that much. I can mm -hmm. do, like, four hours. And they're very nice to me. I get to work, like, two hours, and then I can take my break take and sit break. for the, for the, and then do the other two. Oh, that's so, good. So it's kind of nice. That they're very nice about it. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. so do you mind if I say hi to a couple people right no, now? No, go right ahead. Okay, uh -huh. I want to say hi to my friend Becky and her daughter Danielle and her son Joey. My now these, daughter these Emily. These are McDonald's people? No. Oh, okay. People. Well, well, Danielle does work at McDonald's okay. with me, and okay. um, uh, my daughter Emily also works at McDonald's with me. Oh, oh I, I didn't realize you had a daughter that old already. Yeah, she's a. I have a, I have a 21 year old daughter. Uh, what did Amy, you do? Start who lives when, in North Carolina. What did you start when you were like 14 years old, having yeah, kids or something? Yeah. What the heck did you do? <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't realize. I didn't realize you had children that old. <laughs> yes, I do. Yeah, and I have a 20 year old son, Ryan. <laughs> you got me fooled. You're older than I think you are. Yeah. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. A 21 yeah, year old son. 20 year old son. Oh, 21 year old. year old daughter. 20 year old son. 21 year old daughter. daughter. Oh, and a 19 year old. 18. 18. Emily's so, 18. So they were all close. She's 18. the one at McDonald's. Yeah, oh, okay. they were all close. Oh, cool. Yeah. Is she at the store you're at? Uh, yes. Oh, yeah. okay. Her Keep it in the Danielle family there, huh? work with me. Ah, mm -hmm. that way you get to keep them under your wraps, huh? Yes. Tell them, do this, mm -hmm. don't do that. Da, 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 da. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you try. <laughs> <laughs> They're good, though. They're both oh, pretty good employees. Good. Yeah, that's oh. good. Yeah. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. It's a great um, breaking ground. It is. it is. It is. It's a great, you know, teaches them responsibility. It it's a great, you know, teaches them the workplace. And then also, too, it may inspire them to go on and do something else and say, geez, I don't want to work this grill and right, this and exactly, that and the other. Yeah. I want to get an education and for myself. Get a, and get I want away to do something. from these french fries. Yeah, a lot, yes. of, a lot of the people that are there by my store, they're all, I should say, I work for McDonald's on 87th and Harlem there. Mm -hmm. And hi to Jen and hi to Bob and mm -hmm. Diane and my management team and the people out there. I don't know a lot of the names. I don't know yeah. of the crew and stuff like that. But I say hi to them that. And, um... A lot of them are all, you know, in school for engineering. Another girl is in school for mm -hmm. uh, right. some kind of, um, uh, not special ed, but um, physical therapy. Mm -hmm. So they're all doing this, and they work here, you know, and all right. that. And right. they're kind of nice, too, because they'll work, like, around their school schedules mm -hmm. and stuff and everything. So so they're kind of good that way, you know. Mm -hmm. Well, I should probably now say hi to my management team, to <laughs> Zach, and uh, we have two Alexes. And, um, now, wasn't the one guy 
one of them was on one time with you too, wasn't there? A Zach or somebody? Was it Zach? I had Carl one time, but he was doing the tours. I he, think that and he, might, and he had to get up about. early in the morning for McDonald's. I remember the night he came on, he had to get up. Like oh, at you're five. talking about James? That was James. It. Yeah, he had from to get up the next James day. Was from yeah, Snap It. Yes, and me and him did a show one time. And yeah, he he works. Um, boy, it's not not the store I work at. It's a different store, and it's way out somewhere close to like. DeKalb, mm. somewhere in that Because I remember he came on the show, and then he said the next morning right. he had to get up at 5 in the morning. Mm-hmm. I said, oh, my gosh, well, you didn't have to come on in this one. We could have done something when you got the day off or something, because right. you know, that's kind of hard for you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But he didn't mind it. I guess he does that breakfast thing in the morning. Right. Yeah. Well, now they do the breakfast all day. They do. Yeah. They do all day breakfast. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I was actually thinking on one of the tours, like maybe doing like a coffee stop or something at McDonald's. Yeah, it's not a bad but idea. But then I says, I don't know if people are going to like it. They're going to say, oh, gee, tour, we go to McDonald's, we could do that anytime. You know, we want something a little better than McDonald's. You know, I don't know. But Elgin, we used to stop yeah. at a Wendy's. That was our little break. Now it's a gas station break because the Wendy's was closing at 10 and we couldn't always get there by 10. Yeah, you know? yeah. And that's we, always we a problem, to a too. Yeah, station. yeah. Mm-hmm. Usually, if you know, you're bringing in, you know, 10 people, 15 people, whatever, mm-hmm. and they're buying something, they'll yeah. be happy to have oh, you yeah, come in. They don't mind. You know, happy yeah. To have you mm-hmm. come in. I always do the lunch stops because when I do the tours, they're like the four hours long. Of course, Chinatown, that's a sit-down dinner. Mm-hmm. We do that. We sit down. We have a nice Chinese dinner. We have a, an actual six-course, seven-course Chinese dinner. Oh, that okay. One. We do that. Where uh, do you but, go? What, what uh, restaurant? Harmony Restaurant. Oh, Harmony. Because okay. yeah. he gives me a good deal on the, on the price, and the mm-hmm. food is very good there, too. And actually, it's right on our way to Wentworth, to Chinatown. Right. Okay. Um, one time, a lady said, geez, how come we're not having dinner in Chinatown? And I says, well, number one, what we're charging you for the tour, we'd have to double the price if we mm-hmm. actually ate in Chinatown. And then some of the places in Chinatown are kind of hit and miss with the Chinese food. Uh, some of the food is good. Some of it's, eh, it's just so-so. You right. Know? I like to try places out, you know, and see mm-hmm. and taste the food myself and stuff like that. And it's been working out nice at Harmony. Oh, that's it, good. It, it's been working out really good there, and people are happy with the food. They're happy with the service we get and everything's dead. And then the Southside Supernatural, that we just do a little fast lunch. We do like a Subway lunch oh, okay. like that, you know, that kind of thing like right. that. So hmm. that we do that way. But they need that break. You know, you, break. Need to, you do like two hours, you stop. They have to have the bathroom break and mm-hmm. then the, and the break from that and then go on with the rest of it. You know how that goes. You right, to, exactly. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, because it's a little too much for people just mm-hmm. to be bouncing around on the bus and that kind of thing. And oh, yeah. Especially if it's a rainy day or a cold day. People need a little break to for the bathroom. They do. <laughs> they do. They definitely do. And, of course, do. at cemeteries, we don't always have bathrooms. Well, the three-hour ghost hunt we do in the cemetery, there is no bathroom. That's it. So they got to either go before or yeah, you wait till we after. We always yeah. tell them that's something we include in our little spiel we do in the beginning. Then. Yeah, make sure you use a, the restroom before. McDonald's. Yeah. Mm-hmm couple blocks down if you want to go go to the bathroom over there and then otherwise for three hours you're kind of stuck here yeah you have to yeah. hold it yeah mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. that's it um rose hill when we did yeah when i did rose hill we have bathrooms at rose hill some of the cemeteries and things like if they have the mausoleums and that yeah we're okay with that we usually have a, a restroom we can go into holy supper here has one we can go in there we always they're pretty good about that um but some cemeteries, like, well, we're you know, there at night when the office is closed. You can't. So no, no, no. When you're there at night. That's nice mm-hmm. that they let you in. But like you say, you get the right. permission and everything yes, to do it at night. Yes, we get permission yeah. to mm-hmm. do it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because that's a little tough. Now, you have lights, though, and everything with you when you go. Uh, well, people bring flashlights. Oh, they bring their own. Yeah. There's oh, you don't provide them? No. Oh. No, we, the only thing we provide to people are the little EMF meters okay. that they can use on the tours. Those little handheld yeah, things? Little handheld okay, okay cool. Uh-huh. And then you bring your equipment. And, and I stuff. bring my equipment. Okay. And there's equipment that belongs to the tour company also that we, we use. Okay, yeah. Because I was going to say, like we talked about earlier, you don't want anybody you know, bouncing and tripping over a stone or no. over the curb or something it like that. It does say so. on the website to bring flashlights. Oh, good. Okay, so they're I have flashlights also, too. Extras, that. yeah, if they need yeah. them. Mm-hmm. And umbrellas in case it and rains. And umbrellas in case it <laughs> rains. Yeah. We've had a couple where... I always do that, too. I always bring the rain gear. It'll yeah. start mm-hmm. out nice, and then all of a sudden a storm will blow. As of late, the way it's going, yeah, these storms are just popping up, yes. you know. With the hot weather we Yeah, had. oh, yeah, at random. That's what ramps yeah. them all up. We get those hot days, mm-hmm. and then these thunder showers just... And they're really coming down, too. We're getting oh, showers yeah. lately. They're really pouring. Mm-hmm. So that could kind of put the damper, no pun intended, on a tour. It can. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. So, let's see. Where was I going? I had something else I wanted to ask, and my thought, as fast as it came into my head, left. Um, now, how far ahead, that's what I was going to ask you, how far ahead would they have to book your stuff if they want to do it? Can you, Now, you run these every weekend, or do you do them we during do the weeks, too? Every, well, we... We have, it's in every other situation right now because of that other tour company, the one, the guy that broke off from us. Ah, okay. Or else normally we would be in Elgin every weekend. So we're oh. every other weekend. So what he's actually kind of doing is cutting into your... He's cutting into oh. our, our business right now. How it's sneaky. Kind of, yeah, and yeah. there's a legal oh, battle and stuff going on, oh, which yeah, I yeah. try to keep out of that kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. Uh-huh. Um, so the one, like this past weekend, I only had Friday and Saturday night in Naperville. 
Okay. But this coming weekend, we have um, Thursday, Elgin, three-hour cemetery ghost hunt, Thursday okay. night. Friday, I have Naperville. Mm-hmm. Saturday and Sunday, I have, well, she actually has both Naperville and Elgin on the schedule. She'll probably do one and I'll do the other, okay. but uh, it's the Elgin, either the three-hour or the four-hour. De- they're both up there on the schedule. Which one books first is mm. the one that will run. Okay. And then Sunday, we just, Thursdays and Sundays, we just do the cemetery ghost hunts those okay. nights. I was going to ask, like, how far ahead do they have to book them if they want to do them? But they can pretty much you do can, it yeah, I almost mean, the day of the tour, wa- practically. Yeah, I, yeah. The weird thing is, this past weekend, when I woke up Friday morning, mm-hmm. there was nobody signed up for that tour in Naperville that night. Uh, it was pouring. I don't know if you remember the storm. Oh, yes. Uh-huh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm thinking, well, I guess I got the night off tonight. Yeah. I worked at McDonald's. I worked till 5, oh, 4.30, I think, 4.30. When I got off at 4.30, I looked at my, I, I get a little yeah. thing in my um, messages. I looked at it, and uh, I had five people signed up, and the weather had cleared up. So I had a tour. Okay. Same so thing tour, happened yeah. Saturday. There was one person signed up for the Saturday tour in the morning. Now, you wouldn't just take one person. You'd no. Have to, we have, have a minimum. I yeah, I was going to say at least at least five or six. Right. You know, five, yeah. I think. I think four for the cemetery ghost hunt because that's a little more expensive. Mm-hmm. I think it's five for the van tour and five for the walking tour. Yeah, because it almost wouldn't even pay, you know, taking right. the van out, the gas no. and everything. Yeah. yeah, not worth it. Yeah. So, uh, but again, by by later or early evening, enough people had signed up to have a tour. So yeah, you could book the day of. Cool. Mm-hmm. And then for October, of course, you'll be busy every I weekend. always try to encourage people to come yeah. before October because yeah. everybody wants to come in exactly. October. Exactly. That's, that's the thing. This is mm-hmm. all hot stuff for October, it and is. then it kind of fizzles out afterwards. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's how it works. You know. So, but, well, what the heck? If, it's, if it does, it does. Right. Um, you know, if it sparks somebody's interest into it, and mm-hmm. maybe this is something they're doing to see if this would be something for them, it's worth it. Mm-hmm. You know, of course, you don't want anybody going into this and, and saying, oh, I'm going to run my own tours now. I'm stealing your mm-hmm. thing, and that, you, know, you don't want that kind right. of thing happening. But you well, know. I've had a couple people that I've met on tours who are now with paranormal teams. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so it does mm-hmm. work. So it, it yeah, does. This put lady Pat, uh, who I met on a tour, um, she was with White Dog Paranormal mm-hmm. for a while, but when they took their hiatus, now she's joined Snap It. Oh, cool. Yeah, the one mm-hmm. year I did the tour, it was the Southside Paranormal Tour, and I did that with the Central Stickney Park District mm-hmm. that year. And the one lady that was on the bus for like me, I wish I could remember her name. But she was with Dale Kismerick's group. Oh, okay. And she's the one that took, she's, she took the famous photo, the lady sitting oh, on yes. the tombstone. Yes, right. She says, I took the photo. Mm-hmm. That was her, you know. So it was kind of neat. And I wished I could remember I, her I've name. I've met her before, yeah. too, and yeah, I can't Yeah, she's around, and I, yeah, very nice. Real nice to talk to and everything, and very sincere about it and everything. And, you know, I had no reason to doubt that it was her, you know, mm-hmm. and that. And I believed everything she said in that. Right. But I said, be neat to get her as a guest on the show. I wanted to do that. And then I forgot, and I wrote her name down someplace and. You know how that goes. Yes. I write these numbers here and there all mm-hmm. over, and they get lost in the book somewhere. You know how that nonsense works. So, um, lady that uh, took the picture, if you're out there, you know, uh, yeah. <laughs> give us a Let call. Us contact, yeah, contact so us. We can on what Facebook your name or something. Is. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because that's a famous photo. It is. And oddly enough, no one has ever been paid for that. No. Strangely, yeah. No mm-hmm. one, no one ever made any money off of that. Um, it's out there. It's on the. It's on the computers it's mm-hmm. out there in the you know oh, it's all that. everywhere it's yeah. A, yeah it's all over the place and um, they've used it in books mm-hmm. other people have used it in books right and i guess they just never took the steps to protect it and copyright it or whatever oh, okay. and it's just um it's just out there for the public you know mm-hmm. which is kind of nice that they did it that it way is, yeah. or maybe they just never had the foresight i don't know what the, you know, what happened be. but uh yeah because uh, photography, ghost photography has always fascinated me. Oh, me too. I've always been fascinated yeah, with that because too. that's a sure thing of proof. You know, if you've got pictures of the ghost and that kind of stuff. Like you said, when Dave was on, he had some really neat stuff mm-hmm. on there, you know. Um, one thing he had was a little hard to make out. I almost made it out looking like an animal. Mm-hmm. But they, he told me, look at it and see if you see. He didn't say what it was, but he said, tell me what you see. I said, well, I'm seeing like an animal. almost looked like a horse to me or something like that. And he said, no, it's a, it's a soldier. Everybody's saying it's a soldier in it. And for life me, I didn't see the soldier. But then there was another one that was really clear, and there was no doubting it at all. It was like an image of a man standing there. He had, like, overalls on. You could see the straps, oh, yes, I'd straps on the overalls. I think I was investigating with him that yeah, night the picture that, was that, taken. Maybe that's why your name came up on this <laughs> yeah. when he brought that on. And that mm-hmm. was cool. I With the little hat on and everything. Yeah. yeah. And he's standing by the window. It was the window or the, or the board, the blackboard. I believe it was a blackboard. Blackboard, yeah, because you could see that, and you know, everything mm-hmm. was really clear on that one. And he was also very transparent, too, because right. you could see the baseboard going through yes. his ankles and all that. So that was a neat photo. So stuff like that fascinates oh, me. Oh, definitely. Because that's, like, definite proof. Mm-hmm. I mean, how do you say something like this was just, you know, faked or made up or whatever? Right. You, know, you don't. You, you know. can't. Yeah, so so that's always fascinated me. 
Now, have you been able to get any good shots like that? or? Oh, I have. A, I mean, I obviously couldn't show people on the radio, yeah, but right. I have a number of pictures. Okay. Um, mm-hmm. ah. But I could show them to you. Yeah, let's see I'm what you got. I could show them to you. These you can are show them to me. We can give, we can give descriptions. Tours. Okay. Oh, so these are you, stuff you took on tours. Uh, okay. Not myself, but uh, patrons on the tours okay. all sure. took. All right. Um, and then they, like, develop their films or whatever, and then they show you to say, hey, Tony, this now, came up, Now, some people, you know, with the, the digital photography you don't have and everything to develop that's them out now, there yeah. now, all they do is, hey, look what I got, and they call it's you right over. There. Yeah. And mm-hmm. it's right there. Oh, it's got a, one second to get this up. These, yeah, because photography is always fascinating. I, always I still fascinated. haven't mastered these cell phones. Yeah. Here's one well, that's just when you, very Just when you learn to dance, they'll change the music. I can't figure this picture out. It, it's taken by the Butterfly Garden in... Bluff City Cemetery, the well, now the, 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 the image that we're looking at, the person, that's not, the, that's the person taking the... It, it's, let me explain the picture. Okay. Uh, a lot of people say that there's, I've had a few psychics say that there's a lot of portals in this area. Okay. It's a very spiritual type area. All right. This was one lady taking a picture, I believe it was the daughter taking a picture of her mother investigating on, on the tour that night. Okay. And she took the picture at night. All right. And it come it looks like a, a split image where they're both the person taking the picture and the one being oh, taken I are see. both in the picture mm-hmm. and one is in like daylight and one is in Right, I'm darkness. seeing that. Yeah, uh-huh. So that that's how this came out. That's how this came oh. out. Oh. I and thought I know they did something they to this. They didn't doctor oh. it or anything cuz they showed it to me right away that night on the tour. That's interesting. Now that's now how did that happen? Yes, how did exactly. that? So the one image that we have, the big, it's like a bigger image, and then there's one that's a smaller image. Mm-hmm. Um, it's smaller in the sense that it doesn't cover the full screen. I right. should explain that. It's not smaller, like the, the figure is smaller and one figure is bigger. They're, they're, well, the one is because it's a little further back, so one mm-hmm. is a smaller figure. But the person... But it'd be like if I were taking a picture of you sitting across right. from me right now, and when the picture came out, both of us are in the picture. Now, how did that happen? That, that's yeah. the weird thing about yeah, it. Yeah, and, and that's exactly and what this like is, Like, you'd huh? be in light and I'd be in dark. Yeah. That's what I'm looking at, too, because one is, like, very, very dark, right. and the, in the small uh, photo, the smaller mm-hmm. side of this is really lighted. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. And how, how did, what's the explanation for that? There, I there is none. No explanation for it. Okay. That's, what else have you got? I like, what, I like that. That's what makes it a paranormal photo. You know, yep. There's absolutely. There's no explanation mm-hmm. for it. I, I like that one. Let's see what else I got here. This one here, which um, looks like somebody <clears throat> back by a tree in the cemetery. Okay. Like uh, a tree and like between some headstones there right. too. You, you Almost looks image? like a little. Oh, now this huh. now see. Of course, I haven't got glasses today. This looks like it could be like a, something standing upright, but then it also looks like there could be somebody's head, like coming around the side, right. like a head sticking mm-hmm. out like the side. Of, is that what we're looking at? The head part. Yes. That's mm-hmm. it. So the other thing is the headstone. Mm-hmm. Right. So then it is a head looking around the side of the, the head headstone. Looking around the That's side very of the clear. I can see that really clear. Yeah. That, could that possibly be an orb, though, too? It's possible. Who knows what it is? Yeah, yeah, who knows? Did you ever try, like, enlarging this or anything to see if you can make anything out of it? Or yeah, you? and it looks... It's really hard, it's hard to, to tell. It's hard to see. It's yeah, very it hard to but tell. It, but it is now, something unfortunately, there. Unfortunately, a person sent me this. Now, mm-hmm. they didn't show it to me that night on the tour. Okay. And when I asked them if they could remember where this picture was taken in the cemetery, they don't remember. Oh. So I don't know exactly. You know, cemetery, there's so many heads. Right, so many yeah, trees. everything looks alike. I don't yeah. know exactly where that picture was taken. Oh, okay. But nonetheless, okay, cool. All right. Mm. And some of the definitely more interesting ones. Not that those weren't interesting, but... Yeah, uh, uh-huh. uh, Let's see here. This. The two probably most unexplained photos I've seen... Same headstone, same night. That's okay. the first photo. Okay, this you it's can like definitely see like a streak of light, light like, yeah, around uh-huh. the headstone. Yeah. Uh huh. And then if you look at the very almost next looks like a musical note. It does. Yeah. Like that little thing on mm-hmm. the top, and then the bottom, it looks like a, almost like a like a big musical note. And then if you look the very same headstone, mm-hmm. same night, very next photo. A lot of people call this guy. The Ghostbuster Slimer Ghost. Oh my gosh, that's exactly what it looks like. Mm-hmm. Oh, it sure does. Right. It almost looks like Slimer. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Right at the top. Now it's, it's a very tall. Just to describe this for Radio Land here, it's a very tall, almost like an obelisk type stone. Right. Very, very old, uh, and it has like four 
Yeah, I believe tears the on the bottom. Eighteen eighty, and then there's the obelisk, and there's like a little, oh, like a little decoration on the top of it. Right. Uh, and right on the top of this, like the peak, like right, right at the very top of this, there's the little ghost with the arm sticking right. out, and it, and it almost looks like Slimer, like from, from does, Ghostbusters. Yeah. yeah it as does. soon as I show that yeah. to people uh-huh. on tourists, they're like, "Oh my God, that's Slimer." That's yeah, exactly what it looks like. Yes. Wow, now that's cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now the person that's at the bottom with the camera is that the person that took this? Yes. Ah. Yeah. So how did they manage to get into the photo? Someone else. Oh no took no, no no! I'm sorry. No that that wouldn't be correct. Someone else took the picture. Someone took the, the picture of her taking the picture. They're together. Now the person, the person that's here the taking the photo in, in the person yeah. in this photo that's there with a the camera taking the photo. Did anything come up in theirs? No. And they're not even aware that this was up there until no, they saw this. Until they saw. Oh, that. that's cool. Yeah. That's neat. Mm-hmm. I like it. Those are all from Bluff City Cemetery okay. in Elgin. Uh-huh. Now I have a few from Naperville, too. This was taken. There's a St. Peter and Paul church in Naperville. St. Peter and Paul's, okay. Mm-hmm. And I can't explain that blue orb. In the bell tower. In the bell tower. Yeah. And also with this, it's not just a blue orb. It's got like a light around mm-hmm. it, too, like an aura around right. the orb or whatever, if it is indeed an orb, whatever mm-hmm. it is. Yeah. That's neat. Um. There's a lot of bright lights on top, though. Do you think maybe something could have... It's possible. You, you just don't know. Yes, yeah, so you'd have to investigate that now, further. Now, I always have people try to recreate that. Yeah. That's one of the things we and do. And never has come up. Stop, I say, let's, you know, try to recreate it, take some pictures, and no one's gotten anything even close to it. Hmm. In the bell tower, yeah. Hmm. Definitely something there, yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I like yeah. that. Cool stuff. I got one more if we got time. Oh, we got time. Yeah, okay. we got a few minutes. Oh, yeah, oh, okay. yeah time. Not you mentioned it. We're almost on the 8 o'clock hour here, but we got time. That's okay. Okay. Uh This one was taken in front of an abandoned house, Hmm. which is near the train station in Naperville. uh, That's the window, one of the front windows of the house. It was black. Oh, yeah. Do you see images in that? I sure do. Mm -hmm. A tall one and a short one, and both have, like, capes on, like, long, like Mm -hmm. a shrouded type figure. Right. Well, the one, the one is very, the taller one. You could see like a shrouded, right? It, what like we would think a ghost would look exactly. That's what, yeah. You know what, yeah. We, we, what we, how you would think a ghost would look. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's exactly what it looks like. And right. then there's a smaller one like next to it, like a short mm-hmm. figure. Hmm. And this is on a house on a porch with a window. Right. Abandoned home. Abandoned house. And never go back there again and try to get this to come yeah. back and nothing again. again. it's something we try to recreate. I thought initially maybe some street lights were reflecting. Exactly, you try to debunk it. Yeah. But so far that hasn't, you know, we've tried and it's not coming out the same oh, way. Oh, I like that. It's a, it's a porch. Mm-hmm. And it looks like a, like an old-fashioned, like a, with a rail in the front. Right. Oh, Daniel sent a video. Danielle sent you a Danielle. video. Oh, that's There's a message here. Thank you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She helps me a lot on the yeah. tours, by the way, Danielle and my and, daughter. Uh, and, like, and on the porch, it's just like a window, you know, mm-hmm. on the porch. And it almost looks like there's a light, like a coach light thing on, on the wall. By yes. It. And then this image is standing right next to it. I'm just mm-hmm. doing that for the benefit of, you know, listeners so they right. can kind of get a little better idea of what we're seeing. And it's like a head. You can mm-hmm. make out the head. And then it's got like a long cloak, like a white like a white cloak over it. Like like you'd think a ghost would look. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. like, a, you know, someone with a sheet, like a ghost. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's exactly what it looks like, yeah. Okay. Let's and see what Danielle's video is. Okay. <laughs> well, she was if it's something a, meant for this or if it's something it's private. Probably she was doing a bowling tournament. Ah, right? okay. So, so it's something with that. <laughs> <laughs> the haunted bowling the tournament. The haunted bowling tournament. Yeah, tournament. Um, yeah. But yeah, those are just a few pictures. Of, sure. Um, so stuff does pop do up on these. Quite yeah. a few mm-hmm. pi- I always encourage people to take lots of pictures and... Because, yeah. you know, things happen. You never know. They sure do, yeah. Mm. Okay, give us, we got a couple of minutes here, okay. actually two to be exact. Give us the plugs again for everything. Okay, uh, if you want to take a tour, as I mentioned, we do them in uh, Aurora, Naperville, Elgin. We have two tours in Elgin. I, I haven't done the Aurora tour yet. My boss, Diane Ladley, does that one. Uh, I do either uh, Naperville or Elgin. And uh, you could book a tour at www.hauntedhometowns.com or the number there again off the top of my head. I don't remember that number. It's uh, uh, 1 331 213 9153. 1 331 213 9153. Historic and Ghost Tours and Cemetery Ghost Hunts. And as we mentioned earlier, you could book on the day of the tour. Yeah, as long as the tour doesn't fill up. Now, what's the what's the most you'll take? I think for the walking tour, we'll do forty. Ooh, now that's we a lot. do we do yeah, extend that, but you have to have almost two people helping. Yeah, with that. we do have to have a yeah, helper. Yeah. Uh, yeah. In in the fall, we definitely need a helper. So oh, we're yeah. always looking for more mm. people. Uh, we'll extend that even up to about fifty. Mm. In the fall. Okay. 
for the cemetery ghost hunt uh, 20, I believe is the max. I would think that would be a good. And that's, that's if nice we're segment, using yeah. just the van, mm-hmm. uh, it's 14 for the van tour. For a bus, we couldn't go further more than that. So if you get a bigger bunch, you pull the bus out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. Okay. Cool. Well, thank you so much for coming well, on again, you. Tony. It's always a yeah. pleasure. Oh yeah, it's always nice uh, hearing you and mm-hmm. hearing what's going on with you and what, what's. Uh, you know what's going on, what new things you got going on there, and uh, thanks again. And let yes, the invitation I hope is always to see open. some people out on tours, and yes, I'm, I'm yeah. sure I'll be back. Oh, you'll be getting them. Don't worry about yeah. that. Now we're coming up into tour season here. When right. Starts, you know, once the weather starts changing and the cooler weather starts coming around, people start thinking about Halloween and all this stuff. Yes. So, yeah, so you'll be getting them. Can I keep your cards? Or oh, yes. No, no. Okay. You, you can keep Let those. Let me keep this. I can put those in my mm-hmm. file. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, thank you, Tony. Um, as always, folks, it's a joy doing these shows. Oh, 8 o'clock right on the button here. So we'll, we'll wrap it real fast. Um, don't forget to listen to this. Broad- We're taping this show on Monday, the 22nd of October. Uh, it will be broadcast tomorrow, tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock or 10.30. Tomorrow, 10.30 on Jack FM at 89.7 WRHS in Norwich. You can listen to us there. Also, too, in a day or two, Mr. John Chikanda, our producer, pops these up on YouTube, and you can get the broadcast in its entirety on YouTube. I always tape them on cassette, so some night you can come to my house. If you can't get YouTube and your computer's not working and you miss <laughs> the broadcast, you can come over to my house. We'll sit in the kitchen and have a cup of coffee, and we can listen to the cassette, and, uh, <laughs> and that's that. Also, don't forget to listen to the other shows here at the Windy City Hometown Network. Meet the Chicago Hor- Historians. I, mean, I almost said meet the Chicago Horians. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever a Horian that, is, that I don't know. Show. But you can't come and meet them because we don't know what Horians are. Meet the Chicago Historians. That's a neat show. They've got a neat panel of people on there that are very knowledgeable about history and stuff like that. And they always have some neat discussions on that one. The Don of Sports. Paranormal Radio. Yay, that's me. Chicago Junction. That's a neat show, too. The Chicago Junction with Chicago Railroading and all that. John and I were talking a little bit about that before we um, did the broadcast tonight. The Armchair Experts and Wealth and Wisdom. Any of these you can get on the Windy City Network, www.windycityhometown.com. And thank you all so much for listening. It's an absolute joy for me to do these shows, to come here once a month and do them. And it's an absolute pleasure. And, Tony, thank you. And as always, oh, sure. come back thank anytime you. you want. Yeah. You know, I'd you got nothing to. going on, pop oh, yeah. on the show. I'd love to. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Talk to you later. Bye bye, folks. Bye. Thank you for listening. You have been listening to Paranormal Radio with Bob Trisek from the John Vitter Broadcast Center on the Windy City Hometown Entertainment Network and Jack FM 89.7 WRHS FM Norwich. Paranormal Radio was directed by John Vitter and our special thanks to the executive producer of of uh, WRHS FM Norge, Mr. Kevin Zeflick, and the executive producer of Windy City Hometown Entertainment Network, Mr. John Chikanda. This broadcast was pre-recorded on Monday, August the 22nd, the year 2016. Until next time, please be safe and thanks for listening. And this is Jack FM 89.7 WRHS FM, Norwich, Illinois.